the last feature that we're going to learn is how we can control the update process of a component by setting the state to null. No. That sounds like crazy. I know. Let me just delete all this bullshit. And let's make an example real quick. As you know, when you set the state, the component will always update. All right. Now imagine that you could control this. Imagine that you had the power to decide if you want to update the component or not. This is what set state to no will give you. It will give you the opportunity, it gives you the power to decide if you want to update your component or if you don't. And this is fucking great because there's many, many times on the React development process that maybe you don't want to update your component unnecessarily. All right. And what I'm going to show you right now is what's going to give you the opportunity to don't, don't, uh, don't do that. You won't have to update your component if you don't want to. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a controlled, I'm going to, I'm going to call this control. This is a component. All right. And this component we're going to make is going to be for pizzas pizzas that I want to eat 10. All right. And here render, I'm going to render. I'm going to get the pizzas from the state. And I'm going to return a button. And the button is going to say, I have eaten the number pizzas and I'm going to say that if the pizzas is equals to one I'm going to say pizza if it's something else I'm going to say pizzas like zero pizzas one pizza two pizzas pizza or pizzas all right and here i'm going to return controlled oh god all right so it says i have eaten 10 pizzas and i'm good all right now i'm going to go from zero pizzas and i have eaten zero pizzas eaten no eaten All right, zero pizza. The point of this is let's click and update the state until I eat um, 20 pizzas. All right, so first thing that is going to blow your mind what if you could? change the state of react with a different function that would be great huh check it out i'm gonna make a eat pizza function and this function takes the state and the props this is like a best kept secret of react and it's, n it's not so new all right and what i'm going to get is the pizzas from the state All right, and I'm going to return pizzas equals pizzas plus one. All right, and now here I'm going to say on click handle click handle click. It's only going to do this set state. Check it out. Eat pizza. This is the first part. This is not new. This is something I learned a lot, not a long time ago, but I learned it and I really like it. The fact that I can make a function far away from the component set my state. This is something cool. I really like it. I'm going to show you now. Let's see if it works. I have eaten 
all these pizzas. Great. But now, if I keep tapping, I keep increasing the things, all right? And this is not what I want. What I want is, until I eat 20, I'm going to update the state, all right? So this is when React 16 comes in. If I return null here, or if I set the state here to pizzas, no, by the way, doing this here is the same as doing it here, all right? It's the same thing, it's just, I wanted to show you the trick, okay? If I return no, the state is going to stop updating. Like I told you, I was gonna teach you how you can control the updates of the state by returning no. So, let's do it. I'm going to say if pizzas is less than max pizzas, then I'm going to return pizzas equals pizzas plus one. Else, I'm going to return no. All right, we refresh one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And let's see what happens, 20. And I'm returning something, look here, I am setting the state, I'm returning something and it's not updating. All right, that is React 16 for you. You can return no to set state and it's not going to kill the state, it's not going to replace your state, it's not going to change your state, it's going to just not update it. Because before, when you return no, it was going to change your state. Now, you just control it and it doesn't update your state, so it doesn't update your component. And that's it, you're good to go. That is React 16 for you. There are not many features, but I think they're very important things that you will find useful in your daily life. Also, what I just showed you of how you can offload the set state function to outside, all right? If I wanted to implement this here, I would have to do something like pizzas equals this state, and then do the same thing if blah, 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 blah. but it's better when you divide and you conquer. That's it, that's all for this course. Thank you for watching. I hope that you use these features. They're very, very cool. Again, return types, strings, fragments, portals, error boundaries and being able to control the state update with a null. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.